We are now in the city of Aleppo in northern Syria. Uh, this uh, area is called Al Masharqa, uh, one of the areas that have been affected by the earthquake that hit the country a few days ago. As we can see, rescue mission is still ongoing uh, here, uh, where we, we can see the debris and the rubble. You can see over there that building. It tells the story, the horrific story about how life can change in a minute. It's also worth noting that Aleppo has seen uh, severe uh, uh, battles in the past and uh, a lot of buildings sustained damage because of the US sanctions on Syria. The sanctions have actually prevented any major reconstruction work uh, which demands foreign companies to come to Syria. So due to the sanctions, no foreign companies can come and they cannot take part in the reconstruction process. So the sanctions in big part were responsible for the high death toll and for the large destruction. Good morning, Secretary General. We'll make some comments and then we'll take questions. More help is on the way, but much more, much more is needed. We have all seen the heart-wrenching images and the heroic efforts of humanitarians battling the elements, the clock, and the odds to save lives. Thousands of buildings have collapsed. Tens of thousands of people are exposed to unforgiving winter conditions. Children are enduring terrible trauma. We have released 25 million US dollars from the UN Central Emergency Response Fund to jumpstart the response. By early next week, we will launch a flash appeal for donor support for those affected by the earthquake in Syria. This is a moment in which everybody must make very clear that no sanctions of any kind interfere with relief to the population of Syria in the present moment.